bunch of fries right here. Here, use your fry bar. Oh, There's it. I got some. Yeah, I mean, I can use one more probably. But I need some fry it up there. And now this shouldn't be too bad, but we removed it in the village. So this is a panoramic x-ray machine that I got before I went to the scrapyard because I decided like I was talking to the guy like you're take, going to take it to the scrapyard and this is this is in like 2018 when prices were when scrap prices were low so I gave him 50 bucks for it of course I'm never going to turn it on but I want all the high voltage stuff because it'd be cool to hang it up on the wall and then the rest of the metal stuff can be scrapped over here we have all sorts of how many times it's been counted and and all that. Nineteen ninety seven. And then I believe this cable is one that you would actually hook into the wall so the dentist would go in the opposite room and flick the switch so they wouldn't be near the x rays. Because it's not bad for you to be near the x rays one or two times a year, but if you're a dentist you're going to be around that five times a day, and that's when it gets dangerous. So, I believe what comes out of here is like a, a narrow beam, and it goes into here. And as this rotates, you see it actually, it rotates that. Whoops. And so, you progressively expose whatever's in here. Kodak Lanex equipped with regular screens. Interesting. I never knew this was in there. I can see this being like a miniature mouse pad. That's kind of cool. But I believe the film would be in there. And is the film still in there? There is still something in there. Tube side. Okay, so oh my god this is is that the thing that glows when the radiation hits it wow or or is this the film well gosh that's pretty cool Kodak Lanex regular Now that is amazing. I don't know how that works. It might just be a sheet of pla plastic and like a diffuser, but still. Well, we found one thing we're going to keep. Even if I don't have quite much of a use for it, I'm going to keep it. And thus, the teardown begins. This is a heavy beast. It's like 500 pounds. This came off in the move. It's obviously the same casting as this side, but they just didn't do anything with it.
Ooh. Wow, there's a lot more control components in there than I thought. Okay, so I see some resistors, variable resistors. We have a mystery knob. Probably goes to a rheostat of some kind. Xilinx. That's the CPU, apparently. A buzzer, or beeper, I mean. Runs at 5 megahertz. That's the crystal is, so it's probably running at 5 megahertz. Very nice switch there. Some relays. Power connectors. Offsets. Seems that's a geared motor. That is pretty cool. Oriental Motor Company. OM Gearhead. I might save this entire mechanism. I don't know. A limit switch somewhere is being pressed. It'll be interesting to find where that is. Oh, right here. Neat. That's solid metal. Well, that's pretty cool. Wow, that is a pretty cool Variac. That alone makes this thing worth the 50 bucks I paid for it. And then, gosh, I, uh, I love it. And then I'll probably get more than that back just from the scrap price. These are some pretty big standoffs really big ones. Oh, I see. So there's these screws on the end then that go into it. Oh, so that's the power cable. I see. Huh.
Oh wow, speed control motor. some like armor shielding there. So this thing is adjustable and to, in order to do that they have to allow this to come in and out. So there's a motor in there somewhere, probably a, a long screw drive. And I wonder how you get it out. I have, we might find out whenever we undo the top. I have to respect how many set screws there are in here. It's actually pretty cool. This is some pretty high quality engineering.
I just realized you can see here and here, these must be limit switches. Well, all right, I guess we can take it apart. We'll see how far we can get with it. So, I decided not to film screwing all, I unscrewing all the stuff. Huh. That's so weird. Seems like there was a nut there that it went through in it. Maybe it stopped working. Maybe that's why they got rid of it. Bit much. Actually, I'm deciding this mechanism is just too bespoke and I want to get rid of all of it Gotta admit, that is pretty cool. Oh right, and the last thing. There's more limit switches, which are always useful. What a mess this has left. 
but it's better than going straight to the scrapyard because there was a lot of really interesting things in here, including a piece of lead. Lead shielding, anyone? I might do a video of tearing down the, the head later because I would like to have something to hang up on the wall that looks particularly interesting and electronic. But boy, did I get a bunch of nice electronics already. An aluminium pulley, mini limit switches, a geared motor that runs at 110 volts, this torture device, all of these electronics, which I hope to either do a video of, but most likely I'll probably just pick from it in future videos. I have the Panoramic Corporation PC1000 power supply, and that's pretty cool. Really like how that thing looks, especially with this cable coming off of it. And lastly, now that I look at it, I, I realize this is the threaded part. So that's the nut that moves back and forth. So I did get it. I guess the thing is, if you did lift up the top of that mechanism, it would come out. I was thinking it would be more attached. That's why I was confused when it just slid right out. But it looks like this is a 110 volt AC motor. It's so cool. Oh wait, there's one last thing. that is that. Now unfortunately I'm exhausted because I, did, I, sh I didn't feel like doing this but I wanted to do it because of spring planning and I needed to get rid of that thing. Had it for years and I'm so glad I did because it'll take up so much less space now and that can go off to the scrap yard and uh, yeah, I just want to apologize I'm not doing a very long video it's just taking it apart and then in the future these will find their way into other videos, or I might do a video specifically about something. But I'll probably not focus too much on the x-ray part, aside from the x-ray head. And from now on, you'll see these parts in other projects. So, whatever you guys have recommendations for, please let me know of what I should do with any of these parts. But I'm thinking... Electrical, like, just keeping this as a housing for this uh, very act and then keeping this around for whatever that might be useful for. This could be fun to run but with an Arduino or something. And then a lot of different components on here that will be useful for projects that I can't even foresee. And this I might melt down for the lead. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya!